Hey, what's going on everybody? Jared here. Have you ever found yourself wondering what the difference between UCAS and VoIP is? Well, today we're here to tell you the five things that set them apart. Let's get into it. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, let's just ditch the acronyms for a quick second, all right? VoIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol since that's exactly what it does. It transmits your voice through the internet rather than through legacy phone lines. UCAS stands for Unified Communications as a Service. It's a unified platform that combines multiple formats of communicating like video conferencing, voice calls, emails, text chat, and much more. Essentially, UCAS is a user-facing platform that providers sell to customers while VoIP is the technology that powers that platform. Now that we got our terminology out of the way, here are five differences between VoIP and UCAS. Number one, implementation time. VoIP can be set up in minutes while it can take a lot longer for UCAS depending on the type of hardware that you're using. Number two, communication channels. VoIP focuses on voice calls while UCAS offers other mediums like the ones we had mentioned earlier, such as video, messaging, integrations, and much more. Number three, pricing. UCAS subscriptions can cost as much as two times the price of pure VoIP plans since there's a wider variety of communication options at your disposal. Number four, collaboration. Companies who are modernizing their systems in the name of seamless internal collaboration tend to favor UCAS since it's easier to integrate with workflow software. And finally, number five, troubleshooting. It's far easier to pinpoint the issue in a UCAS system compared to a VoIP system. Further, vendors can also monitor service quality from their end in UCAS scenarios. As always, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell below if you've enjoyed this video so that way you can stay up to date on our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Also, feel free to share this quick explanation on social media so that way your friends can also learn about the difference between UCAS and VoIP so that way they don't use the term interchangeably for years to come. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jared with Get VoIP and I hope you have a great day.